like Big Bang Theory. It was a hypothesis early. Earlier it was a hypothesis. Today, after solid proof about the celestial matter, according to Stephen Hawking, etc., it's a fact. So Big Bang Theory, today is a fact. Yesterday it was a hypothesis. Once it becomes a fact, I use it. You know, there are hypotheses saying that human beings have been created from a single pair of genes, Adam and Eve. I don't use it. Because science has established, it goes along with the Quran. It goes along with the Quran that we have been evolved from one pair, Adam and Eve, peace be upon them. But I don't use it because that is not an established fact. So therefore, while bringing a correlation between Quran and science, etc., see to it that you use only those scientific facts which have been established and not hypothesis because Quran is far superior to modern science. I'm not trying to prove the Quran to be the word of God with the help of science. No, not at all. What I'm trying to do, for us Muslims, Quran is the ultimate criteria. For the atheist and for the non-Muslims maybe, science may be the ultimate criteria. What I'm doing, I'm using the criteria the of the atheist and comparing with the yastik of the Muslim, the Quran. I'm not trying to prove the Quran to be the word of God with the help of science. What I'm trying to do, when I'm being a compatibility and I show the superiority of Quran, that what your science has told us yesterday, Quran has told us 1400 years ago, I'm trying to prove that our yashtik, the Muslim yashtik, the Quran, is far superior to your yashtik, the science, therefore you should believe in Quran, which is far superior. Hope that answers the question. Thank you, Dr. Ryan. This Dr. Campbell. This is the last, excuse me. The last two questions for the speakers, we'd ask the audience to just bear for us for a few more. minutes more. We have the last question on the slip for Dr. Campbell, followed by one last question for Dr. Zakir, and we'll ask you to please wait till the end. It's the same question as the last one, really. Dr. Campbell agreed to Dr. Knight that the errors he showed are not wrong and that he can't answer them. So does this mean that Dr. Campbell agrees that the Bible has errors? So it's not the word of God. There are things in the Bible that I can't explain, that I don't have an answer for now. And I'm willing to wait until I see whether an answer comes. There's many places where archaeological things have proved that the Bible is true, talking about towns and who was king and things like that. And I think there's great proof that the Bible is valid in good history. Thank you, Dr. Campbell. Just a one minute. Okay. Sure. The question is, are there any more mathematical contradictions in the Bible? What is Bible or Islam? Sorry. Are there any more mathematical contradictions in Islam? Are there any more? Is it Bible or Islam? I don't know. I'll answer both. Because is there any more? It should be Bible, because I spoke about contradiction. Anyway, regarding Islam, the Quran says in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse number 82, Afala the burun al-Quran, wa laqana min in the gaira, la wujudu fiqh talafan kathira. Do they not consider the Quran with K? Had it been from anyone besides Allah, there would have been many contradictions. There is not a single. Regarding more contradictions in the Bible, five minutes will be insufficient. Even if they give me five days, it's difficult. Anyway, I'll just mention a few. It's mentioned in the second Kings, chapter number 8, verse number 26. It says that Ahaziah, that Ahaziah, he was 22 years old when he began to reign. Second Chronicles, chapter number 22, verse number 2 says that he was 42 years old when he began to reign. Was he 22 years old or was he 42 years old? Mathematical contradiction. Furthermore, in second Chronicles, chapter number 21, verse number 20, it says that Joram, the father of Ahaziah, he reigned at the age of 32 and he reigned for eight years and he died at the age of 40. Immediately Ahaziah became the next ruler at the age of 42. Father died at the age of 40. Immediately son takes over who's at the age of 42. How can a son be two years older than the father? <laughs> Believe me, even, even in Hollywood film, you will not be able to produce it. In Hollywood film, 
you can produce a unicorn which i mentioned in my talk unicorn you can have cockroaches which the bible speaks about cockroaches and and dragons and serpents but in hollywood you cannot even show a son being 2 years older than the father it cannot even be a miracle even in miracle it's not possible impossible in miracle you can have a person being born of a virgin birth but in miracle you can't have a son being older than the father by 2 years further if you read it's mentioned in the bible in second samuel chapter number 24 verse number 9 that the people that were involved in the battlefield it gives a list of this people in second samuel chapter 24 verse number 9 and it says that people that took part 800000 of the men of israel took part and 500000 of the men of judah same if you see other places chronicle chapter 21 verse number 5 it says that 1 million 100000 people took part in the battlefield from the men of israel and 10460 men took part of judah was it 800000 people who took part from the men of israel or was it 1 million 100000 was it 5 lakh people of judah that took part or 10460 a clear cut contradiction furthermore it's mentioned in the bible in second samuel chapter number 6 verse number 23 that michael the daughter of saul she had no sons second samuel chapter 21 verse number 8 Michelle the daughter of Saul had five sons one place it says no children no son no daughter other place five sons furthermore if you read it's mentioned in gospel of matthew chapter number 1 verse number 16 it says about the genealogy of jesus christ peace be upon him as well as luke chapter number 3 verse number 23 and it says that jesus his father the joseph his father was jacob In Matthew chapter one verse sixteen and Luke chapter three verse number twenty three, Jesus' father Joseph, his father was Heli. Did Jesus' father Joseph had two fathers? What do you call a person who has got two fathers? Or was it Heli or was it Jacob? Thank Clear you, Doctor Knight. Thank you very much. Uh, can we can we have you bear with us for two minutes? We have the renowned. international islamic scholar amongst us dr jamal badawi and on behalf of the islamic research foundation we feel it an honor if he would take the pleasure of inaugurating or releasing the book just written by dr zakir naik the quran and modern science compatible or incompatible dr jamal badawi to uh, release the book which has just recently been published and printed few days back and being released here in chicago on this appropriate occasion and i think there's no uh, more fitting way as a gesture of friendship than to ask dr zakir to give it to dr kamel by himself <laughs> as we have a very limited number of these copies available so we request only the non muslim guests who have come here to kindly take a complimentary copy of the book as they leave the auditorium if they are interested it would be a pleasure may i call upon dr sabil ahmed to present the vote of thanks again on behalf of islamic circle of north america i would really thank all of you for your patience and all our distinguished guest over here for giving us a very good performance for all of us subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik wa ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta wa nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaihi assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh